Hey, Just Bricks here with another video for you tonight. Um, going to be doing a bit of a modified Pablo with this video. Um, I have a couple orders, uh, three of them, that are already picked, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you those. This is actually three different orders in this container. These two compartments on the side, that's one order, new parts, used parts. Um, these are all new parts in dark gray for a second order. And my third order is just that jetpack there from Boba Fett. And you can see there, those dark gray pieces, um, they came from the uh, five copies of the, oh, let's see if we can get that to focus, the Robo Raptor, I believe is the name of that ship that I parted out. And those sell for about 50 cents a piece and sold 10 out of 16 of those that I had left. So that's pretty good. And then um, there's the jetpack there. Almost a dollar for that piece. And the last order there with just these three new lots and a few used lots there. Um, one of the more interesting pieces is this antenna. You can see there that I put the four end spokes are broken off. Still has the four middle spokes. I think this was in another video that I had filmed and yeah, see the ends have gotten snapped off but overall it's not in too terrible shape and there's that vintage tree with the sharp edges on it and I'll probably clean that up a little bit before I send it um, I've kind of made a mess again I moved my uh, come on focus I moved my giant ship up here um, we were setting up our Christmas tree and I had to move it out of the living room where it's been since I bought the thing like two months ago, three months ago, something like that. And then I still haven't finished parting out those classic sets. Uh, I've been working on it with brick stock, trying to work my way through some of the colors. It's been a little bit of a problem because like if you can see drawer 180 over there, Let's see if I can get it to focus again. Drawer 180 is pretty full and got pieces kind of hanging out of it actually put those uh, one by two Technic bricks there, the light bluish gray. I actually put those in on 80% off sale just to try and get rid of some. But I mean, you can see the drawers that aren't closed all the way there. It's because I did things incorrectly when I started out and put too many lots per drawer. And so I have all these drawers that are overflowing of parts and when I'm adding these new parts from this set, I have to take pieces out of the drawers, find a new drawer for them, and try and consolidate lots over. And consolidating lots with brick stock has not been the easiest thing because, as far as I can tell, the only way to do it is to, well, to find out which parts you have to consolidate. I suppose I could go through the part out function on BrickLink first and just go through and see which lots are consolidated, find those drawers and pull them out, which is probably a good idea now that I think about it. But um, what I had been doing through BrickStock is I'd go through the whole set, um, like here, go new, actually file, open, classic. This is everything that's still left in that lot. I mean, that, that set. As you can tell, there are still quite a few lots to go. Um, there's over 300 lots in the set. I've parted out around 100 of them, and I still have to put away probably about 20 or 30 of them. So, um... Yeah, what I'll probably end up doing now that I think about it is I'll go through BrickLink. Here, I'll bring that up while I'm thinking about it. Um, go to BrickLink, go set 110, wait, no, 11717. Bricks, bricks, plates, part out. 
and then I'll look for just the lots that are consolidating. All these black parts are showing as consolidating because they are already put away. I've already done most of the light, blue, the dark bluish gray as well, but yeah. So that's probably what I'm going to do is get these drawer numbers where it, it'll say what drawer it's in, and then that way I can get those drawers out and already know which drawers I'm going to have to um, shrink down. And then with new lots. I'm trying to keep them to smaller amounts like this one. I've got two lots in this drawer. I'm probably going to put a divider in there and see if I can try and keep it to maybe three lots in that drawer, maybe four. It really depends on just <laughs> what parts. I'm gonna have to pay attention to what parts are coming up in sets that, are, uh, that I want to part out. So, my advice, if you're first starting out, put fewer lots per drawer. You don't necessarily have to start out doing one lot per drawer, but don't do this. <laughs> All right. Um, well, if you're still watching, thanks. I appreciate it. If you, leave, if, if you have anything you want to say in the comments below, I'll respond to those. Um, but until next time, y'all have a good one.